Hey guys, Al2 here, and I'm back today with the ZMT-10 Monster Trucks again. Both the original version and the upgraded version as well. If you recall from my first video doing the comparison between the two, I talked about getting these trucks out and running them. Do a speed comparison, just see you know how one handles versus the other, if they're the same, different, whatever. So before I do that, I wanted to tear these differentials apart and see what's going on inside of them, see how well they're put together, what kind of grease. People complained about slipping gears inside of those, so I just figured I would tear them apart. So before we get to that, I'm going to show you what they look like inside, and what I'm going to use today is some 30K lube that I plan on putting inside, differential fluid. Of course, I'll be using some utter butter grease as well. So without any delay, let's go ahead and get this front end of this truck to our part and see what the differential looks like inside. All right, we got our differential free and that doesn't feel real bad with the bevel gears, but this differential, it's downright crunchy. Not smooth at all. I can feel the crunchiness in the gearing. So let's go ahead and get this apart and see what we got inside. I'm going to go ahead and remove these two screws right here on the case. I wish be able to pull this apart. And there it is. And <clears throat> watch out, a little shim here on this side. A little shim on the bevel gear side. Let's make sure to don't lose that. Put that back on. This is, I don't know if you can hear it, but it just doesn't it doesn't feel smooth. It doesn't sound smooth. Alright, we're going to go ahead and clean this up. Clean this grease off of here and then uh, we'll need to remove these four screws here to get inside the differential. Okay, we've got our differential all cleaned up. Now we're going to go ahead and remove these four screws. Okay, got our four screws removed. This just pulls off, and there's some grease in there. Not sure. Let's just take a screwdriver here and see. Yeah, a little bit of grease in there, but in my opinion, not going to do the job. So we're going to go ahead and pull these gears out of here, like so. They pop right out. And we're going to go ahead and clean all this up. And we're going to fill it with some 30,000 diff fluid. Alright, we got our parts all cleaned up here. And I just 
use a shop rag to wipe all this old grease out. And we're going to go ahead and put our gears back in and we're going to refill with some diff fluid. Now this, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we can get away with a diff fluid. Seems to be a gasket here and a seal so we'll see if it's going to leak or not but I'm going to give it a shot. Gears back down in there like that. We're going to go ahead and fill this up with fluid. Going to be using some 30,000 fluid. I like to put a bunch in and then and work it around a little bit. Turn the gears a little bit to get it worked down into the into the housing. Be careful not to turn too fast or these will try to pop up and out. But this diff fluid is nice and sticky. And go ahead and put some more in here. Work it in a little bit. Seems pretty nice. And just a tad more. Go ahead and put our top gear back on. Now put our four screws back in. Now this is a plastic diff case, so don't get carried away with over tightening these. Okay, once I have all four of them most all the way in, then I'll go ahead and snug them up. Alright, that's pretty much it. Nice and smooth. All back together. You can't even hear anything now. Can't hear anything. Put it up to the mic part. All you can hear is me turning. It's nice and smooth the way it should be. So, as long as it don't leak, which I don't think it's going to. There's no signs of leaking right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing back together in the case. Now, I'll, I'll clean this case up and I'll re-grease I'll re-grease it I like to use um, utter butter 
for my grease, a waterproof grease, so you can use any waterproof grease, it'll work fine there. I'm going to go ahead and get this back in the truck. I'm going to do the upgraded version of the truck, and then I'll get a chance to run these two and do some comparisons. But I wanted to, I definitely wanted to do these differentials first. So I hope this video helps you if you want to tear your differential apart. I probably wouldn't use anything heavier than 30K in it. So that's up to you. That's just my advice. But um, yeah, I think that's the perfect uh, fluid for these trucks. Okay, I hope this video helped you if you want to tear your diff apart. If you got any comments or questions, make sure to leave them in the comments section below, and I'll try to answer them as best I can. Uh, till next time, guys, um, great RCing, and I'll see you soon, hopefully, with a running video next coming up on these guys. Thanks again. So long.